You are listening to the CWL Podcast. Are you ready? Hey, everybody. It's Kate. I'm the host of the Creative Women's League Podcast. Uh, This is super weird for me today. Normally, I sit in a room alone by myself in the dark and take my time to do this, but I'm sitting here with my boyfriend, Brad, today. Ahoy. Oh, do you know that Ahoy was supposed to be the how you greeted people on telephones? Oh, no. That's Alexander Graham Bell. That was his vote. Oh, it, it turns out, though, he didn't invent the telephone. Oh, what, what did he invent? He just kind of stole the idea because, like, a guy, like, patented it. Oh, and no, then I just... don't want to know about that at all. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, any, um, the Creative Women's League is your place for inspiration, motivation, know-how, and community. We have two weekly podcasts. Brad, did you know that? Uh, I do now. (laughs) I've got our Wednesday episodes. They are an interview with a new creative badass every week. It is awesome. And of course, this is Mindful Monday. This is just a quick 10-minute episode where I shoot the shit with you and we talk about something to get our mindset right for the week. Okay, Brad? Okay. Can you be motivating for just 10 minutes? Oh, I'll try. <laughs> so I'm here with Brad. I brought him on today because I didn't want to do it by myself. I wanted to enjoy my time with him. And he had a great idea. We could talk about creative couples. Yeah. I mean, Kate and I, we both have our projects that we work on. You know, I do a show of my own. Um, it's a little bit more uh, like sports themed it's it is 100 percent more sports themed <laughs> <laughs> yeah you know except for when we go off topic and but it's uh it's the orlando soccer show uh we mostly cover orlando city soccer the orlando pride um the nwsl team and also in orlando um but we also cover a wide range of topics um you know we will go on tangents that don't really pertain to anything at all yeah We've talked about TV shows, movies, video games, all kinds of things. But that's really about, you know, it really. Yeah, tangent like that one. Yeah. (laughs) So it's really weird. Brad works with, an we'll say it's an ensemble cast. I work by myself here in the CWL. Like I said, I usually just sit in a room, in my sewing room. Yeah, um, I produce and co-host the show. Um, you know, there's myself and anywhere from one to four other people on the show, depending on the week. Um, we can vary between a, a discussion, interviews, uh, panels, just all kinds of things. It kind of varies from show to show. Yeah. So we both have our awesome little podcast. We're both fairly creative people. Mm-hmm. And I'd have to say that you're the first person um, I have ever dated who was genuinely supportive of my creative endeavors. Um, And so I wanted to talk about that today because I think it's really important for creative women. um, You know, you know me. I think it's important for creative women especially to have support because we want to do it all. We want to do so much. And we feel like, I know a lot of listeners feel like their creative time, their creative business, their hobbies um, are selfish. And I've been absolutely told that in a lot of my relationships. I mean, it's kind of like, oh, that isn't that cute that she quilts? And I think that's why, I think that's why it took me so long. Part of why it took me so long to get the podcast off the ground is a lack of genuine support in my relationships. But you always bring that. And you know, uh, early on, one uh, a person that really sort of spoke to me told me the best thing you can do for other people in your life is to encourage them to do the best work they can. So, you know, cause it's, it's going to make your relationships way more fulfilling to see other people around you doing their best work because they also want to see you succeed too. So when you sort of encourage them to do the best work they can, you're really sort of making everyone around you do better. So instead of just sort of only focusing on your success, you know, encouraging others to be successful too also pays dividends. I'm tired. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're getting a really good glimpse of our relationship right now, of just like 
<laughs> one of us will say something and the other one just sort of like yep i'm hungry <laughs> no but i think you're right i've had a, it a lot in my relationships i am a very i don't know if you guys know this and i'm sure brad doesn't know this i'm a very outgoing person <laughs> Shocker. <laughs> I'm a, a person who um, is not afraid to be the center of attention. I'm a person who loves to talk to other people and get to know them. And that's caused a lot of issues in my relationships. I literally, one time, I got extensions. I had just gotten a, my Aquanet tattoo. After that, I got extensions. And when I showed my boyfriend, he said, well, what's this for? You just want people to look at you? <laughs> I was like, <laughs> What? Huh? So anytime, and that's been a theme throughout all my relationships, anytime I've shown real initiative or I've shown that um, I really wanted something else uh, to achieve something else, to do something else, I really got shot down hard and painfully. And I don't know it. Once you came into my life, I realized, now I'm staring right into your eyes. <laughs> Once you came into my life, I realized, hey, yeah. That's what that's supposed to feel like. Somebody who wants you to shine and wants you to use all of your skills and um, be crazy looking if you want to be crazy looking. And it's really important. Well, it's it's funny because the way we first met, you actually talked to me about podcasting. <gasps> that's, that's true. <laughs> and so I, at first I was like, okay, cool. I can I can talk to you about this because again that same person that initially mentored me said you know pass on any skills or any knowledge yeah, you have definitely. just pay it forward to the next person because to see that person that you give that you know ins inspiration and information onto and to see them succeed that's going to be a really fulfilling feeling to you as well to see someone that you helped along the way really thrive and, and really find a voice of their own so it's really been cool to me to see you grow this into something. And it's, it's really, you know, it's made me feel great about myself seeing you sort of develop and, and create this, you know, podcast and, and everything else that's come along with it. So, you know, just encouraging people to be the best they can, you know, cause you, I always want to see my friends succeed. You know, I'm one of those people where, um, you know, if I'm the only one in the room that's, you know, doing pretty well, I, I feel like I'm not doing the right thing. Um, I always want to encourage those around me to be the best versions of themselves they can be. And so really that's, that's what it boils down to is being a good partner and a good boyfriend to you is, you know, making sure that I'm doing all that I can to make sure that you're putting yourself in positions to succeed. And is it ever, um, this, this sounds stupid to ask you. <laughs> it does sound stupid to ask you cause I know you so well, but I also know the men I've dated so well. Um, so there, it, it is pertinent, but does it ever make you intimidated or feel less than if I'm doing really kick ass? No, no. Um, I, funny enough. So I, I was watching, uh, Chris Rock's most recent stand up special and in it, at some parts he says in some moments of the relationship, you're going to be the lead singer and then in some moments of it, you're just going to be playing the tambourine. <laughs> so it's not a, if you want to make really good music with a person, you can't be selfish with just playing one role. Like, right. it, you know, if it comes down to it at a moment where you're just playing the tambourine, play the hell out of that tambourine, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's really cool because I, I like seeing you sort of, you know, get all these really cool things. Cause I mean, you're not just being handed them. You're, you're making these opportunities for yourself and it's not intimidating because it, it makes me then motivate myself even more because I see you doing really well and I want to do really well. So I want to see us doing really well. So it just, it just, it's, it's one thing that just keeps us motivating one another to be the best versions of ourselves we can be. So when I see you doing well, really well, that means I must be feeling pretty well about myself so i'm doing pretty good too so then it only motivates me to do even better yeah i do like that a lot about our relationship is we're constantly like pushing each other and there have been times where honestly like i don't know it might sound bad but there have been times where i'll be like brad knows you could do this or do it because brad thinks you can do it or brad would tell you to do this so it kind of just helps push me further into things that I want to do or if I'm questioning myself I kind of 
it's almost like you've become the voice in the back of my head that says like, come on, Kate, you can do this. You can get through this. You can kick butt on the next thing. And so honestly, let's be like really real for a second. You know, the listeners know about it. There are some days where that voice in the back of my head is the reason why you get out of bed. I mean, some days it pushes you to do great things, but some days it just helps you do the simplest of tasks. And that's why I'm so lucky to have you. Yeah, and I I definitely agree. Yeah, you are so lucky to have me. (laughs) (laughs) Well, I mean, I agree that like sometimes, you know, it, it takes that other person, you know, being that voice where, you know, you can say like, hey, you could be doing something right now. I know you can do it. And you definitely have that same role for me where it's like, you know, I, you can do this. It's it's nothing, you know. It, it might seem difficult at first, but you're going to look back on it, you know, here once you finish it. You're going to be proud of yourself once you do it. So, it's, to me, there's, you know, it's really nothing to it but to do it, really. So There's, um, there's like, a meme that's out there, and it was, like, be the person your dog thinks you are. Yeah. And I think that kind of happens with you and I, like... Sometimes I'm like, be the person that Brad sees you as. I know that you don't see yourself as that person, but Brad, I trust you, and you see me as that person. So, hell yeah, I can do it. I constantly try to be the person that Arya thinks I am. <laughs> don't. I don't know. <laughs> you don't know what's going on in that brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's basically just a person that gives me treats and walks. I was going to say, actually, I want you to be the person that Arya thinks you are to me, too, which is just like, pet me and give me treats. <laughs> That's that's entirely possible. <laughs> that's all I want. I don't. I just really thought that. Um, I thought that we could make a fun episode. I don't know. Maybe this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think it was pretty good. I think we did pretty well. I think we do well. I think we're a good team. And even though we aren't, you know, you're more of a writer, and I'm more of like just a crazy. Yeah, I'm person. actually a journalist. Yeah, that's the that's, that's that's the term that it is. Um. And I'm just more of, like, this crazy person who just wants to, like, cheer people on. We just make a... So we aren't a team in the way that we're doing the same things together or anything like that, but... Yeah, I I think, like, creatively, we have... Because we both want to create things and we both want to present things to people, but we do go in two different directions with that. We go in two different directions with most things. (laughs) Yeah, this is true. But, yeah, I think it's... I guess the takeaway here that I'd want you to have today is... If you're at a point with a partner where you feel like they aren't supporting you, if you are out there looking for a partner and trying to put together what you think the perfect partner could be, um, Brad is almost like I wrote, like I wrote him into existence, like crazy things that, oh, he had a joke there. <laughs> I was going to say, I'm, I'm actually a boyfriend fanfic for Kate. Yeah, it's, it's exactly. like. I'm literally Kate's Canadian boyfriend. That's kind of crazy. That's, yep, that's I'm her it. boyfriend in Canada. <laughs> um, anyways, you can do it. You can find this partner who um, really supports you in all the ways you need it. And if you have a partner right now where you don't feel like you're getting the support from them, have a chat with them. Have them put on this episode and all of our wisdom. <laughs> don't yeah, do that. No, don't, no. <laughs> They'll be like, well, what are you listening to? But the support you need is so important. Don't feel selfish for asking for it. Don't feel selfish for needing to have somebody to bounce ideas off of. You can really be a part of a great team and it will help your business and your life and your creativity. Guys, if you're listening to this, just encourage your lady to do great because that means you're doing great too. <laughs> like it's 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 so easy in life to like be nice to people and just encourage them to do the best they can because you're going to feel so much better for it afterwards. So that's it. This is what we have for the episode today. Um, Funny enough, when this is coming out, I will be in Aurora, Illinois. That's crazy. That's weird. Home of Mika's Donuts. Yep. And Noah's Arcade. Yeah. Yep. Um, we're gonna have a whole episode dedicated to uh wayne's world World references but yeah i'm actually headed to uh aurora illinois i will be there training with bernina i'm so excited if you have a local bernina shop that you want me to come teach at tell them tell them to request me that's it 
I'm really excited. I love you guys so much. You know I love you. Get over to the Instagram at Creative Women's League. And of course, join us on the Facebook group, Creative Women's League. And I will see you Wednesday with a new awesome interview episode. Say bye, Brad. Bye, Brad. Don't fall into the thing, Brad. here? It's over. Go home.